we are coming towards the end of our Costa del Sol series, where we have been showing you the best of the most popular destination in Europe. With over 300 days of sunshine, it's a year on favorite. Now is the perfect time to show you the jewel of the Spanish Riviera, our home. Welcome to Marbella. Marbella needs no introduction. It's glamorous, fabulous and over the top. The first time we went to Puerto Banús, we were confused. Is it posh? Or is it pretentious? What about Marbella as a whole? Is Marbella fake? Or is it really the star of the Mediterranean? We have been living here for over a year now and we are in a good position to tell you that Marbella is one of a kind. Stay tuned, as later in the video we are going to visit a villa worth over 20 million euros. Marbella has three layers, the tourist Marbella, the residence and the ultra rich club. Let's start with tourist Marbella and get some breakfast. We have come to one of the most popular hangout spots in town. This summer, the whole place was covered in Fendi merch, but now it's back to its normal self. Next summer might bring something even better. We are now at the historic center of Marbella. It might look like any Spanish city, but if you look closely, it's full of boutique cafes and restaurants with amazing atmosphere. We are going to the Plaza de los Naranjos, which is a beautiful square full of amazing restaurants. It is the heart of the old town. So let's go. Such a nice and calm vibe here. If you're in the old town, I would highly recommend to come here and eat here in this square. The promenade is in Marbella town centre and it's always busy, especially in the summer months. You will see lots of restaurants, bars and chiringuitos for you to enjoy a nice meal with your friends and family. Village Beach is actually in Marbella town centre, so you can enjoy a bit of shopping, a meal, a coffee with your friends and family and then head to this beautiful beach to have a very relaxing day. The area between Marbella Old Town and Porto Banus is known as the Golden Mile due to high profile villas like Antonio Bandares and Saudi Royal Family but also due to some of the most exquisite hotels in the world. Marbella Club Hotel and Puerto Romano Resort are favorite destinations for celebrities and dignitaries providing a sense of exclusivity and prestige. It's a place where you can experience a lifestyle reserved for the few. Tourists come and stay mainly around Puerto Banús and Nueva Andalucía area. Due to Marbella's reputation as a luxury destination, a lot of people come here to be part of the glam. Without a doubt, the best way to get around between Marbella and Puerto Banús is in luxury. This yacht, it runs every hour between the two destinations. It takes half an hour each way. Put all your stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees. Burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me? Puerto Banús is renowned for its glamour, sophistication and undeniable charm. 
this world-famous marina town is a playground for the rich and famous, where luxury and opulence come together in perfect harmony. It is also where people come dressed to impress, as well as parade the supercars, which can come across a bit pretentious sometimes. We are at Puerto Banús. This is where it all started. Today is one of the most luxurious marinas in the entire world, full of shops like Gucci, Dolce Gabbana and Prada, as well as restaurants, bars, for you to enjoy one of the most delicious food in all southern Spain. This is what Marbella is famous for. Follow us and check it out. Just on top of Puerto Banús, you will get to a huge runabout with restaurants and bars. But if you keep walking for another five minutes, you will get to Marbella Arena. This spot is very famous for concerts and events, but also is surrounded by a huge selection of bars, restaurants and shops, as there is a shopping centre right opposite. Without a doubt, the most iconic thing about Marbella is La Concha. This mountain behind me is an adventure seeker's dream. We really want to climb this as well. The next few weeks we will do it, so stay tuned to see our adventure going all the way up. Marbella is perfectly situated on the Mediterranean. The hills of Costa del Sol block incoming clouds and rain, giving it over 300 days of sunshine a year. Marbella has almost 30 kilometers of beautiful sandy beaches, passing with five-star beach clubs like Nikki Beach, Playa Padre and Opium. Marbella is popular for its dinner shows and pool parties. Many places offer amazing packages lasting the whole day. If you are visiting Marbella in big summer, you are in luck. A Starlight Festival is a celebration of the arts like no other. Renowned artists from around the world grace this iconic venue under the stars surrounded by hills, filling the warm Mediterranean night air with melodies that touch the soul every night for over a month. Marbella is a heaven for tourism and the nightlife here caters for every budget. If you are in the mood of normal night out, head down to back of Porto Banus, where you will find the strip, filled with clubs and bars for every budget. But if you're in the mood of something fancier, Olivia Valère is known for its glamorous and luxury club experience. It's not cheap, but the party in this amazing Moorish style villa, it's an experience to be remembered. Now, to the residential Marbella, but first a quick introduction to Marbella. Year 1970, the grand opening ceremony of a high-end resort Puerto Banus. Guests included the Prince of Monaco and wife Grace Kelly, Prince Arrochan IV and Franco's designated successor Juan Carlos. It was entertained by big names like Julio Iglesias, yes, that's father of Enrique Iglesias. Four years later, the Saudis arrived led by Prince Fahad. He came every year until his death in 2005 with an entourage of 1,000 people spending millions of petrodollars each year. Marbella started off as a luxury destination. Over the time, people enjoyed it so much that they started buying second homes here to spend holidays as well as escape the winter blues of Northern Europe. In the last two decades, Marbella has established itself as a year-round boutique city and its location makes it one of the most desired places to live in Europe. Today, it's filled with international schools from UK, US, Germany, France and Sweden representing the diversity of population. Especially after Covid, seeing the demand, the local entrepreneur opened the pool where not only people come to work but also share ideas and attend informative conferences, paving the way for an even brighter future. Finally, let's find out 
how the other half lives, like Beverly Hills, the hills of Marbella, known as Benahabis, is home to the ultra-rich of Europe. We have made a separate video on Benahabis. Check the description below. Like Dubai and Miami, Marbella has an obsession with brands. Puerto Banús has always been the center of the brand craze. Their beach bars and restaurants have collaborations with names like Fendi and Dolce and & Gabbana. Now, it's taking it to the next level. We have housing developments with designer labels like Carl Lugerfield, Lamborghini Design Villas, Fendi, and now the latest addition to Golden Mile, Dolce & Gabbana Residence. Our friend Dico from Sima States has invited us to this villa for sale in Nagueles area. We are in the Nagueles area, right where Stider is, and we are with our friend Dico, who has invited us to this amazing villa in Marbella. Yes, thank you for coming, Julia. Thank you, thank you for having us. Yeah, yes, it's very nice to have you here in this open house. It's a villa, a luxury villa for sale. 23.5 million. Wow. Here in, very close to Sierra Blanca. This is one of the most exclusive areas here in Marbella. Very common now, the people are investing a lot here in Marbella area. Mm -hmm. You can see it, you know, if you go to the internet. Now, a yeah. lot of new developments here in this area. If I want and to buy the property tonight, <laughs> what do I need to do? <laughs> well, no, we're going we're gonna to leave some link mm -hmm. at the description. And if you want to get in touch with us, with Zimmer Estates, I'm the owner and CEO of, of Zimmer Estates. Uh, we invite you to have a look at our website if, yeah. you, if you want, or you can get in touch with you also, yeah. I know. Yeah. Talk to you and we're gonna help you out. Yeah, perfect.